I know it sounds crazy, but she's a vampire. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. This week sponsored by Brave Robbers from Outer Space. Stay tuned at the end of this video for news of the new vampire expansion bleeding in the new year. I'd like one too. The Velvet Vampire opens with Diane, who appears to have a fear of motorbikes, being attacked. <laughs> she kills her attacker and continues to an art exhibit. Note the Stoker Gallery. This sequence encapsulates Stephanie Rothman's film, a genuine attempt to do something interesting and different with exploitation subject matter, but ultimately ridiculous. That depends on your point of view. At the gallery, ladies' man Lee turns on the charm. You come here often? Hitting on Susan while she tries to appreciate the art. I get a lot of sensual energy from it. You mean it's sexy? They meet Diane. I think he sculpts death. Is that sexy? Something here must be sexy. Turns out Lee and Susan are married, and their earlier byplay is just a hilarious game to spice up a marriage running on fumes. I like you. Hitting it off with the mysterious Diane, the couple accept an invitation to her desert house. Oh, I'd love to have both of you. Well, this is a Roger Corman production, so I'm pretty sure you will. She probably has a great body. Well, this is a Roger Corman production, so I'm pretty sure we'll find out. After a weird encounter at a garage... I don't give gas. I get gas. They break down, and Diane comes to find them. I know what you're thinking. There's nothing sexy about a dune buggy. Prepare to have your mind changed. At first, it takes a little manipulation. But once it's warmed up, it really comes alive. Then you have to watch out. It's hard to control. It yeah. She seems oddly intense. And then you feel like it's driving you as you move in rhythm with it. Up and down, in and out. I'm starting to think she's not talking about driving. Through the dunes. That set my mind at rest. Diane. I think I'd like to drive your buggy. I think I can teach you how. I think I've had enough. Whoa, forgot about the missus there. It's not Bogart and Bacall talking about horse racing, but points for trying. Later that night, Diane has another engagement. Oh, baby. See, that hurts. Doesn't go well. <laughs> Bad place for a fork. <sighs> While Susan is having trouble sleeping. It's this, this room and that mirror over there. The carpet, the lamps, the fact that my husband is clearly hitting on another woman. Actually, she's right to be nervous of the mirror. Here we go. I just don't feel like it. Sometimes I wonder why I even have a two-way mirror. The following day, Diane uses a tour of the local area to foreshadow what has already become pretty obvious. All the dead had large gashes on their throats. I'm a vampire. Susan. I'm a vampire. There is no life without blood. I'm a big old vampire. Well, good news, we at Dark Corners know how to handle vampires. Garlic. A lot of garlic. Garlic up to your ass. While Susan sunbathes, Lee finally gets his hands on Diane, until... <laughs> Susan has been bitten by a snake. If I don't suck out the blood, the poison will spread. <gasps> I'm a lesbian vampire. Back at the house... Now, I think the best thing for you is a midday nap. I'll take care of your husband. Since arriving, Susan has been sidelined, lost in a mine, attacked by a bat, and bitten by a snake, while her husband makes out with their hostess. So, naturally... No, I'm beginning to like it here. Lee gets the alone time with Diane he's been waiting for. Because my husband is buried here. I gotta be honest, this is not the afternoon I had in mind. But he isn't the type to let a little thing like her husband's grave stop him. The dead can live if you want them to. No, baby. When you're dead, you're dead. Life is for the living. You're Diane, aren't you? That guy at your place wouldn't let me see you. Poor guy can't catch a break. Until later that night. 
but. In the morning, Susan is furious, barely serving Lee his breakfast. All right, I got laid last night. Sometimes offense is the best form of defense, but really? Well, now will you stop giving me such a bad time? I can't leave the toilet seat up. I can't sleep with other women, you passive aggressive bitch. Lee charms Susan back. Oh, uh, look, Diane doesn't turn me on. She's a desert freak. Obviously, I had to sleep with her to find out, but now I know. What's bugging you? I don't believe a thing she said. That's what the hell? Weird editing. But at times, this is a dreamlike film with scenes of desert love and Lee's impression of David Hasselhoff. Matters progress as you would expect, with Diane seducing both her guests. Diane! Close the door. I was hungry for you for as long as I could have you. Ends badly for Lee. <laughs> While Susan escapes. Or does she? <laughs> Frankly, this section feels tacked on, while the ending briefly flirts with a real-world explanation. She had a rare blood disease. Before reintroducing a minor character to provide a twist out of nowhere. Oh! Carl! This is Exploitation Vampire to the Hilt. There's nothing. I wouldn't say nothing. That said, there's no question that Stephanie Rothman tried to give it a more female perspective, particularly the vampire's demise, which is practically abusive. And Rothman herself later recognised that the finished film fell between two stools, satisfying neither as art house nor as sexy exploitation. Have you ever driven a dune buggy? None of which stops it from also being a ropey B-movie with clunky dialogue. The truth is, I hate the sun. Some iffy performances. Did you enjoy your afternoon? And a plot that tries to marry arty existentialism and gratuitous nudity. Which does make it a rarity. But good? I just don't think so. <laughs> Classic card game Grave Robbers from Outer Space is back from the dead because you made it happen on Kickstarter. So now the Academy of Resurrected Games and Holdings is raising more gross from the grave by ringing in 2024 with Bleeding in the New Year. An all new expansion with five new feature packs riffing on your favourite vampire movies. How will your flaky ingenue survive against teenage vampire hoods, space vampires, and Skippy the undead hellhound? She'll need more than an improvised cross. She'll need... Garlic. A lot of garlic. Garlic up to your ass. Join the Kickstarter campaign to help dig up another blood-soaked serving of cult horror and B-movie carnage, and pick up your exclusive serialized Dracula card. Do you know what I love most about this expansion pack? All the damn vampires. Take your undead obsession to new depths. Check out GraveRobbersGame.com and support the gross bleeding in the new year expansion on Kickstarter. The links are in the description below. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more vampire movie reviews, click here. Dune Buggy is an interesting metaphor for sex. Have you heard more creative ones? Let us know in the comments below. Good night, Diane.